Okay guys, I am so super 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 excited right now. My box from Geek Gear has turned up and I just am beyond excited. I don't know how to express how I'm feeling right now. It is the best ever wizardry box? Question mark? Something along those lines. So it's a collection of things from previous boxes put together into one box which I'm so excited about because I only just learned about Geek Gear so I haven't had the opportunity to join all the previous boxes so it's a chance for me to get some of the goodies. <sighs> um, so yes, I'm so excited to do this with you, share it, share it all with you, so let's get started. Good morning, good afternoon. And good evening, depending what time you're watching. We're doing an unboxing with me, Savvy. My brother did have a little sneak peek in there, but he gave me no clues whatsoever of what's inside of here, so I have no idea. But I'm hoping that it is great. So we may as well just jump straight into it, right? No point awaiting the inevitable. So let's have a look inside. Cool. So it looks like we have a shirt on the top, so that's pretty exciting. Black, which I enjoy. I always wear black, as you can tell with my platform nine and three quarters shirt. And let's have a look what is on there. I don't know if I'm showing you properly because I can't see. But it looks like St. Mungo's Hospital Diagonally. That is very cool. I haven't seen a shirt like this before. Um, so that is super new and super cool. And it's black, which I enjoy. I ordered an extra large because I wasn't sure what their sizing would be. But now that I'm seeing it, it's huge. <laughs> so it's going to be massive on me, probably. It could probably maybe fit two of me in here. So I know that for next time to get a smaller size. But I can probably tuck it into some pants or wear it as a bed shirt. But I like it a lot. I do. I like that a lot. So that will definitely be getting worn by me plenty of time. Might even wear it in my next video. We shall see. Now, we're left with a lot of box things. So I have no idea what they are. And some spaghetti purple and orange spaghetti in there. Not edible by the way, in case you were wondering. I'm trying to think what other people call these. Confetti? I don't know, but they, they look really Halloween-y, the purple and orange, which is almost spot on because we're almost there at, at Halloween, which I'm so excited about. Okay, let's just pull this out straight away because the print is the part I'm the most scared of because I'm not very easily pleased with prints <laughs> because I don't have a lot of wall space so I get very very picky and I have no way of storing them although I could just keep this and store them in there we'll see if I like it okay am I holding it like Ooh. that is so pretty. I am more than impressed with this one. So it's Harry looking at his parents in the mirror. Dumbledore's probably out on a seat at a desk watching him. <laughs> um, little to Harry's knowledge. That is pretty. I actually really like that one. That one I would probably actually frame. I really like that. Um, and I forgot to mention, like, the quality of this shirt. This is really soft and nice. Like, this, my shirt that I'm wearing at the moment is not as soft. This is really soft. Oh, soft style, that's probably why. 100% cotton. Love that, because I am allergic to the world. <laughs> so cotton is the safest thing for me to wear. Okay, let's let's delve in and grab a box. Just go for the one closest, right? 
So all the boxes sort of have this colouring to them. And they have, um, this one has a flower on it. I wonder if that's supposed to be a hint. And then not English on there. Let's find out what's inside. I have no idea. Okay. It's a bell. <laughs> I'll have to look into the significance of this. I feel like I should know what it is. Here's me being a bad Harry Potter fan again. It is a flower with a little bell on it. I think it's a baby rattle. The flower kind of makes me think of um, Harry Potter's mother and the memory of her, but I'm not 100% sure if that's what this is referring to or not. I have no idea. If you guys know what this is symbolizing, let me know. I'm absolutely stumped on this one, to be honest. I mean, so I'm not sure about that one because I just don't understand it. Hmm, there's stuff on the bottom. I'm just making a mess with all of the confetti. I kind of want to see what's on the bottom. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh la la, we have a box in here. What's inside? I've got to know. Oh, I think it's a plate. Oh no. <laughs> well, we all know who this belongs to. Our one and only favourite person in Harry Potter. Professor Armbridge. <laughs> Panda, do you like the do you like the bowl with the kitty cat? I know it's. I think it's just really strong plastic, but that's kind of funny. <laughs> would it be bad to use it as an actual plate? <laughs> I'm sure Umbridge would be delighted about that one. Should probably have my head. Um. That's, that's great. That's awesome. I love that. Alrighty, what else have we got in here? There's so much. I kind of just want, I, I want to see the stuff in the bottom. It's intriguing. We've got a Luna inspired item. Oh my lordy. That is great. I'm glad I got something um, Luna inspired. Oh, you're just the same as me. I am, Luna. I really am. <laughs> that is so cool. That's another thing that I will actually hang up. Look at you go, Geek Gear, giving me things that I'm actually going to put on my wall in the very limited space that I have. I could put it by my um, black cat with her crystal ball that she's looking into or I do have a little bit of white space up there that I could probably use as long as my landlord doesn't go off his hat at me for putting things on the wall I got, mm, I got two, two of the same print aren't I lucky we got another print here which is smaller than the other one and like not as nice but it's um, Harry and the Dementors protecting. Although, this seems a little uh, questionable. Because pretty sure he passed out beside his godfather, not cast the spell. But there's a tiny box here. And um, I think this Ooh. one of the horcruxes let's just have a look 
have a look at that. Wow, it's huge. <laughs> wow, can I actually wear it? Oh, I can. But look how chunky that is. But that is very cool. I don't know, Gigi had these. But I mean, it's not real. Like, it's just plastic, I think. But it's cool. I like that. That is so snazzy. So snazzy. And then it's got this little, little holder there with a little background on there. Oh, what is it? Zinc alloy. And an artificial crystal. That is very, very cool. I like that. I'm surprised that I like so many things in this. I was actually a little concerned because it d doesn't have a theme. It's just a, a selection of things that they've had before. So do we go for the Cornish Pixies or for the Owl first? I don't know. I like them both. I like Cornish Pixies and Owls. Oh, hold up a second. Hold up a minute. Ooh. A beginner's guide to transfiguration. What? So cool. Oh, it's so stiff from being so new. So it is aligned. Oh, you can't even tell that it's lined. <laughs> lined paper with a little uh, bookmark in there. And it's like a hard covered book. I like that. I love I love notebooks. I actually have a Harry Potter notebook right here. Isn't it beautiful? It's like faux leather, I think. But this one is beautiful too. It has its own charms. Transfiguration. That is a wonderful class. Not that I know. I, I wish I could tell you firsthand how good that class is. But from what I've read, <laughs> who doesn't want to be in a class with McGonagall? Okay, I'm going to leave the owl for last and I'm going to go on to my Cornish pixie. I assume that means there's something associated with Cornish Pixies in here. Just like the other one was a sunflower. I'm kind of disappointed I don't know what it's um, associated with. Oh, i got to get out one of my little knives. To get through this polystyrene. What is it? Oh my gosh, it's actually a Pixie. It's brilliant. <laughs> oh, I don't want to break him, but I want to get him out. Very slim Cornish pixie. I don't know if you can really see him properly, but there. It is. Could probably do with a little bit of a paint job. There's bits of paint missing on them. But I have paint and a paintbrush. So I can I can work on that. And maybe Yeah, but that's interesting. I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh, Cornish Pixie. I have my very own Cornish Pixie. And no cat cage to keep it in, so Mischief is going to happen, I tell you. Well, I'm sure my cat would deal to that quite quickly. She loves to chase flying things. Okay, and then we're on to our last box, which is the owl. Oh, what's going to be inside? I don't know. I'm actually very impressed with this box so far. Sorry, I'm like looking at all the things and I forgot to show you guys as I pull this out, which it looks like it is my very own owl atop some books. Look at him. He's pretty cute. Yeah. 
Although I don't like the look of the, the, the red envelope, makes me think of a howler. <laughs> and I don't want any of those, I hope you're sending that to someone else. I hope that's from me to someone, and not being delivered to me. <laughs> so, that's actually quite a bit of stuff really. So I got my owl, I got my Cornish pixie, I got my banner, my lunar banner, I got my notebook, my transfiguration notebook, I got my umbrage plate, and my, I'm going to call it, I don't know what to call it, my sunflower rattle, I'm going to call it a rattle, um, it feels right, my sunflower rattle, my ring, and the words have lost me of what ring it is, so I apologise to all Harry Potter fans who are probably screaming at me, trying to tell me what it actually is, my print of Harry looking at his parents in the mirror, my shirt, and the print of Harry. What? What a box! I'm impressed. I. This is great. This is a good uh, dip in the water for my Geek Gear subscription box that I have started and I can't wait till it arrives. So I'm excited for that now after seeing all of these goodies in here. So that is awesome and I can't wait to look at them. And thank you guys so much for opening this box with me because I just love sharing these things with you guys and I hope that you guys enjoy it too. So thank you so much and love to you all. Bye. Mm -hmm.